Hi, and welcome to the Market Alert for Tuesday, the 21st of September 2021. So the headline for yesterday is, well, that escalated quickly. Who uh, would have seen uh, that coming? Well, obviously we did, and uh, it's been on the cards uh, for some time. However, uh, there is a situation, of course, when uh, they will actually come back and support the market as well, which we'll get to in just a moment. Uh, when the levy breaks, uh, these are the warning signs. Some wild is uh, something wild is brewing. Uh, yeah, I've said this for a few weeks uh, in the alert that uh, even just on a, a gut feeling basis, something isn't right with the whole of the world economy. And plus, you factor in the World Economic Forum into all of this and what they want to do with regards to uh, by 2030, you will own nothing and you will be uh, happy. Apparently. Um, let's uh, have a look. There was there was something in here, if I can find it, that I thought that was uh, interesting. Uh, this paragraph uh, here was uh, also uh, interesting as well. If I can just get it into the screen to you. Uh, it says here, to, to a man with a hammer, every problem looks like a nail. To the Federal Reserve, every problem is met with more liquidity. And this is what they've been doing since. Uh, 2008. Unfortunately, the Fed has very little control over where this liquidity goes. First, uh, it went into equity markets, fueling uh, an outright equity bubble. Then it overflowed into uh, PEVC, creating uh, bubblicious demons there as well. And then it uh, overflowed into meme stonks and shit coins. Not content with the damage they wrought on the financial economy, the liquidity began overflowing into the real economy. And there's currently an epic housing bubble leading to an increasing wealth inequality and polarization. Now, uh, as it says here, this liquidity is overflowing into the everyday economy, assuming that uh, you can even find the item you seek uh, because of shortages, etc. In the past, only hard money weirdos complained about the gradual creep of inflation. Now everyone feels it has uh, their own story. Everyone is uh, painfully aware that uh, inflation is present and likely to stay. Now, that's the bit I was after because this headline also, not transitory to US uh, CEOs, warn inflation is unprecedented and becoming structural. Well, we know this and we've spoken of this, uh, but I'll uh, acknowledge as well uh, we got it wrong. I think uh, we all got it wrong, is what they're saying there, and that's about. Um, it being transitory and there was a case for it being transitory because once all of the stimmy checks had been spent then they would see it to drop and of course last week in the UK we saw it rise to 3.2 percent and uh, another one that's uh, obviously behind all of this is the Evergrande uh, situation the answer is uh, whether China will bail out Evergrande uh, they will determine this how the market moves and this is exactly what I've been saying before Again, with the down move in the market that we've got at the moment, the Fed will step in with the plunge protection team. They'll turn up at some point if they want to keep the illusion alive or the agenda is to say, well, look, you know, we can't do anything about it now. We've tried it, failed and let it go. Uh, but I wouldn't want to be holding stocks at this point. And for um, transparency reasons, I don't. All of uh, I sold my stocks a long time ago and have been sitting uh, in cash uh, and shifted to other areas, as you know, from uh, precious metals, etc., which, you know, is a long term view. And given all of what we're just seeing with the inflation, eventually it'll come to fruition. Uh, it has to when all of the fiat money system fails. Uh, but uh, here's, a, here's a brilliant uh, uh, ruse by the Dems uh, in legislative Hail Mary Democrats linked debt ceiling to spending bill. So when they put the spending bill through of 3.5 trillion, the legislation to avoid a government shutdown will also include a suspension, get this suspension, of the debt limit through to December 22. Now that will bring the market back by itself. Uh, so they don't have to face that issue uh, in uh, this time next year. Meanwhile, implied volatility obviously shooting to the upside. Still not 100% uh, of the move that we've seen recently down at 14 needs to go to 28 to show any sort of potential bottom based on the convention of how the implied volatility has worked since 1994. A doubling of the implied volatility from the initial move uh, is usually where the end of the, if it's allowed to correct to the downside, is where uh, generally the down move would end as a 100% uh, increase in the figure. So from 14.40, I was going to go to 28.80. But we'll just have to wait and see what uh, they do today. And of course, we've got the Fed out for the rest of the week from tomorrow. Again, let's see how they play. But let's have a look, see where we are following yesterday's uh, 
and move and you can see that uh, we drew in the 89% yesterday. We sailed through this but then we stopped at the 33.733 which is a very important area. You can see the uh, volume there as well as they're trying to bring the market uh, back and in the 30 minute you can see this took place in the afternoon as the market uh, shot down uh, 600 points then came back uh, to 89% uh, of uh, the move and is uh, sitting sideways to lower at the moment. But it's an interesting move back there yesterday, uh, sorry, it, uh, overnight. So it started, started obviously before the close. Plunge protection team coming in and helping to assist the market back to the upside just so it didn't look so bad. At the end, in the DAX also, we drew in this yesterday's uh, alert down to 89, went down. We also went down to 15,000. And 46, the market uh, managing to hold here as well. Again, if we look at the 30 minute, uh, you'll see uh, the market holding at this uh, level. We get an 89% retracement here in the 30 minute chart, and then the DAX coming back on the electronic market as well. In the two minute chart uh, yesterday, I only managed the uh, first trade in the morning. Uh, currently uh, trying to shake off uh, flu. Um, so again, I'm not going to be around uh, this morning. I'll have a quick look while I have something to eat, but then uh, I won't be hanging around. I need to uh, get some rest. So yesterday, the market selling off at the open. Then we had a few more trades. Uh, this here, we've got a, a, a buy here as they bought back. Uh, this one, uh, I don't know why it's appeared on the screen because unless the first trade is either stopped out or goes back, uh, so sorry, goes to the scalp, it shouldn't show. So I need to sort that out. So yeah, we had a signal here, um, these two ignored as the market traded up to uh, the uh, scalp for uh, this one here, which you'll see didn't hit until it got into this area. And then at uh, 10 a.m. the market uh, moving back to the downside there and trailing all the way through to the downside. And then in the afternoon I came back and had a, a look and the market uh, moving up initially and then as it traded sideways I disappeared um, and the market continued sideways again attempting to move higher there failing and then moving back down but it's amazing how it became very sideways in the uh, afternoon there. In the metals uh, expect silver to be hammered today I don't know why I think there's a gut feeling here that uh, it did well to hold yesterday. I mean, they had the opportunity yesterday to really hammer silver to the downside. But it's just a feeling about the way the price chart looks and how it is. And if you have a look at the monthly chart, you'll see why I'm saying this. 21, 8, uh, 68 and a half is uh, sort of the downside target for this. And if it breaks this, then the order that I have in at $20 uh, will be the next downside uh, target for this market. However, uh, the dollar is down overnight, so this is helping to support uh, silver uh, a little bit, uh, as you can see. But again, by 1.30, we know what they do at 1.30, don't we? They come in and move the price lower. And if we just uh, move across, had a nice move up in the morning, and then in we come uh, straight away. Between 1.30 and 2.30, uh, we see the price hammered, and then they do the same uh, later on in the session as well. So uh, no surprise there. If the, they've managed to pick the Dow up today, that'll also add to the downside as well. In the gold markets, uh, this stuck sideways. Uh, it must be uh, uh, a good ratio for silver gold at the moment. Let's just um, see if I can find it for you. Yeah, so there you go. Uh, it wasn't difficult to determine, was it? Uh, when you see the price of gold, just bring that back up for you. You see the price of gold sitting sideways uh, is a lot stronger than silver. Silver being hammered to the downside. And that's reflected here as you see uh, the prices uh, or the ratio between gold and silver moving back up to uh, nearly 280. So uh, no surprise on that basis. And uh, I think the last time I, the, well, the last best purchase I ever had in silver uh, was certainly uh, when we got to 125, I think it was. Yeah, 100, well, 150, yeah, it was 125 then. Uh, I actually bought uh, silver and it dropped, they hit the price on the uh, market down to $13 as well. It was uh, fantastic. And then uh, I also uh, bought some ETFs at this point, silver ETFs made 500% uh, 
and we'll we'll get uh, that sort of move uh, again. I still own some ETFs and uh, down on those at the moment, but again, I know long term what with all of uh, the inflation and everything else that's going on that uh, it will it'll move. No doubts about that. Also, um, while well, I'm thinking about it, just a couple of headlines that uh, I just want to grab as well, which I've, I forgot earlier. So just excuse me one second while I just grab these for you. OK, here we go. Uh, like I say, I had a look at this uh, in the early hours. Fears continue over future of energy firms as minister insists price cap must remain in place. Uh, so this is really going to make things tough uh, if uh, it doesn't. Um, as again, the headline here in the Express so will protect you from uh, source of rising fuel bills. Uh, and I'd like to again quote uh, Abe Jacobson with this one and anything else that you see announced by the government, frankly, uh, don't believe anything until it's officially denied. So hold, don't hold your breath uh, with regards to this. Uh, again, price cap must go, says energy companies. But the government uh, doesn't want to, but they will do. Uh, prepare for a winter of discontent, uh, UK warned. And that's uh, what I've been saying in the market alert, except I haven't been calling it a winter of discontent, but a winter from hell. Uh, a bit of a sombre, miserable, prophetic note to finish on, I know. But, uh, you know, forewarned is uh, forearmed, and it's not as if I haven't been talking about this for some time. Uh, and again, like I say, be prepared. Simple as uh, that. OK, that will do it uh, for this one. If there is uh, anything major happening, uh, then I will alert you. But uh, at the moment, I will uh, be calling it uh, a day and uh, just have a look at the open and then back this afternoon. OK, uh, as ever, thanks for watching. See you in the next one. Mm -hmm.